Hello and welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the province. Ladies and gentlemen, in the morning of June 6, Secretary of the Provincial Party Committee, Chairman of the Provincial People's Council Nguyễn Thành Tâm, together with the delegate of the Provincial People's Council and Tainan City, has a meeting with Boaster of Ward 3 before the meeting of the two-level People's Council. At the meeting, the delegates of the Appeals Council reported to voters the results of the seventh session of the Provincial Appeals Council and the eighth session, and the eighth session of the City Appeals Council brought as symposiums to announce the tentative agenda of the upcoming two-level Appeals Council meeting. At the same time, notify the results of the response and resolution of the competent authorities on the issues raised by voters in the previous contact. During this meeting, voters of Worry, Tenant City, contribute many ideas around issues such as the supply of clean water to the people, the construction and operating the El Lito, both the South Street, has not been uniformly serialized. The functional sector needs to consider and completely solve the situation that some households let their dogs loose on the street, defecate indiscriminately, causing environmental pollution and loss of urban beauty. In the afternoon of June 6, the supervision delegation led by Mit Nguyen Thi Sung Hương, head of the Culture and Social Affairs Department of the Provincial People's Council, have a working session with the Departments of Culture, Sport and Tourism on socialization in the field of socialization, culture, physical training and sport in the province. Previously, the Culture and Social Affairs Committee of the Provincial Appeals Council organized survey teams to work directly with the local appeals committee, thereby in the period of 2019-2022, under affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, the implementation of the policy of socialization in the fields of culture, physical training and sports has achieved certain results attracting investment of over 100 billion Vietnam mainly in the sports sector. However, the socialization of culture, physical training and sports fields still faces many difficulties and limitations. The planning and preparation of investment attraction is not good. Many procedures also cause difficulties for investors. In the period of 2019-2022, there were no approved socialization projects in the province. The Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism has reported to the monitoring team on three probes of solutions to overcome their broad shortcomings. In particular, the department will continue to advise the provincial appeals committee to direct localities to plan and set aside a clean land fund to implement the policy of socialization in the field of culture and sports. Currently, each year, the business community and people in Tainan province supply the Saigon Co-op system with about 600 tons of products, with a value equivalent to about 51 billion Vietnamese dong. This number up is considered quite modest compared to the potentials and trends of the province. In order to effectively implement the coordination work between Ho Chi Minh City and Tainan Province in the spirit of Resolution No. 24 of the Police Bureau, Saigon Corp has registered with the leaders of Tainan Province values and directions in the implementation of linkage, including continuing to develop Saigon Corp's network in Tainan with many modern commercial models that are different from current models. Secondly, carrying out the digitization and implementation of e-commerce programs in line with the planning orientation of Tenant Province as well as that of Saigon Corp. Thirdly, replanning the source of raw materials, implementing product traceability to increase the consumption of agricultural products of Tenant Province at the supermarket system of Saigon Corp to 1,300 tons in 2023 at a price worth about 100 billion Vietnam dong by 2025. The total value will reach about 250 billion Vietnam dong. Finally, Saigon Corp also registered to improve the quality of goods aiming to build a green and circular economy. Finally, Saigon Corp wished to join with business associations in Tenen to develop seamlessly towards sustainable development with many industries such as logistics, e-commerce, tourism. 
According to the latest report of the non-custom department, the total export and import number of goods in the province since the beginning of this year has reached over 6.2 billion US dollars, down nearly 35% over the same period. This figure shows difficulties in production, business, and consumption markets, in which export turnover reached over 3,100 million US dollars, down nearly 30% over the same period last year. Import turnover also decreased by nearly 40%. According to the Custom Department, the reason is due to difficulties in export orders, difficulties in production and business activities of enterprises, and some imported products such as consumers raw materials for production also decreased compared to the same period in 2022. Facing the above situation, the Custom Department has implemented many solutions, including holding dialogues with businesses to listen and promptly remove difficulties and obstacles, creating favorable conditions for businesses in the process of participating in import and export activities in their province. After the session of the product supply chain conference between Tenant Enterprises and Ho Chi Minh City Union of Trade Cooperatives, Saigon Corp, more than 30 products originated in Tenant Province was officially presented at 800 stores of Saigon Corp nationwide. Among the specialty products of Tenant Province that are put into business at the supermarket system of Saigon Corp, there are many products that have been certified with alcohol products from Rista or more, such as Honey of Bao and Company Limited, Subbertin Rice Paper of Tang Ying Company Limited, Rice Rickets of Anvin Rickets Farm, Tipex of Tam Lan T1 Member Limited Liability Company. In order for people to assess specialty products of Tenant Ravis, the system of supermarkets of Saigon Corp such as Corp Extra, Corp for Five Life in Ho Chi Minh City and Tenant Ravis will be Tenant Specialty Week, specializing in introducing and selling products with promotional prices up to 40%, last until the end of June 7, 2023. Recently, the Provincial Steering Committee Against Smuggling, Commercial Rot and Counterfeiting, our Provincial Steering Committee, Ray H. Nye, has proposed to departments and branches that are members of the Steering Committee to organize implementation of the Government Office announcement on the conclusions of Deputy Prime Minister Trần Lu Quang at the working briefing meeting in the first quarter of 2023 and the direction of the Appeals Committee of the Nenravis is effective. Accordingly, members of the Steering Committee 389 of province, district, towns and city need to focus on doing well the main contents of professional work, ensuring timely detection, prevention and handling of smuggling, commercial rock and cultivated goods, especially those affecting consumers' health, each trend, say information, coordinate with functional forces to closely monitor shipments of border gate, port transport, temporary imports for re-export, goods subject to conditional trading, high tax rates. At the same time, strengthen training, foster knowledge, and apply science and technology in the fight against smuggling, commercial rot, and counterfeiting, strengthen coordination, connection, and information sharing in accordance with the new situation, publicize phone numbers and hotlines of steering committees 389 of province, district, towns, and city, ensuring timely receipt and handling of news from the public, according to the National Steering Committee 389. In the morning of June 6, the representative of the Tengjou District Elderly Association held a ceremony to receive the second class labor medal from the president. In the past years, the elderly associations at all levels in the district have effectively implemented emulation movements, especially the movement assigning a symbol of elderly associated with the movement studying and following Ho Chi Minh's ideologies, morality, and style making rich contributions to the cause of caring for the elderly and building a growing homeland. 
at the ceremony, Mr. Nguyễn Văn Cường, Secretary of the District Party Committee, Chairman of Tân Châu District Peers Council, awarded the second class labor medal to the representative board of the district elderly association for outstanding achievements in work since 2017 until 2021, contributing to the cost of building socialism and defending the fatherland. Previously, in 2017, this unit was awarded the third class labor medal by the state resident. For many years in a row, it has been evaluated for excellent completion of the task. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to create condition for local business to miss learn market information, promote production, connect supply and demands of goods, the province have a conference to sign the supply of products between businesses and trade cooperative unions of Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon Co-op. This is both an opportunity but also poses many challenges for businesses in the province in linking products consumption. In the past time, enterprises in the province and Saigon Corp have signed trade cooperation agreements to bring agricultural products to consumption at Saigon Corp supermarket system, thereby there have been strong impacts in promoting consumption and stimulating consumer demand, promoting good circulation, rising the value of typical products of localities. In particular, as the product supply signing conference between enterprises in Tenen Province and Saigon Corp, which just held, 45 more products of more than 30 enterprises in the province continue to be signed for consumption. Today's signings with more than 30 businesses are in depth, and these are not preliminary cooperation agreements, but rather formal business cooperation agreements with the terms of the commitment and the responsibility of the parties to ensure that the cooperation process must take place in a really effective way and ensure the increasing upscale according to the expectations of provincial leaders. With this signing activity, it creates a legal basis as well as a commitment to promote the implementation of the association more closely, effectively and thereby enhancing the capacity of the enterprises in reassessing to markets and fulfilling commitment in regional linkages. The activity of connecting businesses in Tenen Province with Saigon Corp has opened new many opportunities to bring Tenen specialty products closer to consumers throughout the country, aiming to conquer the world market. However, this is also a huge challenge requiring the efforts of enterprises in improving production capacity and product quality. In terms of the scale of products in Tenen, it is almost a relatively small scale. Therefore, the widespread supply of Saigon Corp system in the country or even in the region has faced many difficulties. For today's signing, we have also proposed some solutions. Saigon Corp will cooperate with businesses in Tenen to set up a common intermediary to ensure that the items are gathered in a larger quantity and ensure a standard and Saigon Corp also reduce fragmentation during the cooperation. I hope that after this conference, enterprises and production units in the province will spread a new production spirit with a new production method with the foundation of applying technology and techniques to how to improve the productivity, quality, efficiency and competitiveness of products how to bring the goal of Tenen to strive to be in the top provinces and localities in the forefront of successful application of high-tech in agricultural production. I also expect that in the near future, second co-op supermarket system will be available in other countries and then Tenen's products will follow in the footsteps of co-op supermarkets to compete with foreign products. In the context that goods consumption is still facing many difficulties today, connecting trade through goods distribution system between Saigon Corp and goods suppliers is an essential and meaningful activity. This is a great opportunity for businesses to learn, connect, to cooperate and develop together for the purpose of developing production and consumption of goods, contributing to promoting business development, making a great contribution to the economy. 
That's all for today, TCB News. Thank you for being with us and goodbye for now.